for the next three days, this cargo ship is going to be my home. I'm leaving Peru and I'm heading to Colombia. But in order to get there, I've got to spend my next three days living on this boat. So I'm going to be eating on it, I'm going to be sleeping on it, I'm going to be living on it. <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's go to Colombia. Vamos. Right, so this is life down by the ports. Everyone here is either arriving from Colombia, or up, going to Colombia, or going somewhere else in Peru. Who knows? Anyway, this is my boat. Let's begin the journey. Right, let's do it. We're heading onto the cargo ship. So this is my home for the next three days. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Right, let's head to the top. I'll show you where I'm spending the next three days. Oh man, what a place. Oh dear. This is it. This is my home. Where is Mr. Bold? Is he on here? There's a bloody monkey on here. Oh, it's tied to the pole. It's a prisoner. Poor guy. It's a lot busier than I thought. When I came here yesterday, the guy said, ah, oh, don't worry about it. There's only about 10 of us heading to that Columbia. Look how many people are here. Oh dear. There is, however, another floor downstairs. I think that's where Mr. Bold is, so uh, let's go find him. Excuse me. I thought that floor I was just on was the top floor where there's like 100 people crammed into one room. And then I heard a shout. And then I found this man who led me to the very top floor. Number one traveller, what can I say? So this is Mr. Bold's hammock. This is where he's going to be spending the next few days. Nice, tasty, red and black number, I thought. It's all right, isn't it? Might be inviting some um, cheekers up to the top deck later. That won't be happening. Anyway, <laughs> let me get my hammock set up as well. So um, it's in this bag. I have no idea how to set up a hammock, so I'm guessing a local's going to help me. But yeah, let's get it set up. I'm going to walk downstairs for about 10 minutes, for a little wonder about. When I come back, we're going to see what stage old backpacker Ben and his hammock are in. Let's see in best Blue Peter fashion. Did you bring any food? No. I brought nothing. Well, yet again, Backpacker Ben 1, Mr. Bold Neil. I've set up my hammock. And there it is, in all its beauty. And this is everyone else on top deck. Must be about 15 of us. No idea where they're going. Basically, we're going to Leticia in Colombia. Other people are gonna be getting off before that. Other people are gonna be getting on, so it's gonna be chaos. Anyway, let me show you around the rest of the cargo ship. Man, what a place. What an experience this is going to be. Alright, let's have a little walk around here. What's this here? Ah, oh, okay, so this is where the captain's going to be, steering the boat. And then next to it, you've got the captain's locker. The toilet, I'm not too sure. Right there, captain. So I won't be going in there. And you've got Timonol. Don't know who Timonol is. And then another locked door. So maybe it's like private bathrooms or something, I'm not too sure. Let me show you the bathroom I'm going to be using with everyone else for the next three days. I can't imagine it's going to be very nice. Let's have a look. So this is the lower deck, which I thought was top deck when I first arrived. And as you can see, there's about 10 times more people all crammed into this small room. All with the hammock set up, ready for the long journey ahead. We even got a little shop here. This little restaurant, shop, selling all sorts of random stuff, sweets, water, big bomb. Just random stuff. Little kitchen there. I'm thinking this is the toilets. Let's have a look. Yep, that is the toilet. Good God. And that's it. Oh, okay, so there's a little area to wash your uh, hands here. And that's literally it guys, that is where I'm going to be living for the next three days on this cargo ship all the way to Colombia. So it's going to be, uh, <laughs> it's going to be nuts. Wow. Right, 
So this is it. This is our hammocks for the next three days. Now you're probably wondering how much this costs. Basically you pay 100 souls and it gets you this. 100 soul is like 20 pound by the way, so $25. So super cheap and it gets you three meals a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner and obviously to get to sleep on here. So cheap as chips here in the Amazon. Um, down below it gets cheaper. So the second floor is like 60 souls and then the ground floor is like 40 souls. So yeah, super cheap here in Peru. Anyway, we're close to leaving, so just so sit back here and relax, and um, yeah, we're going to be leaving in about half an hour. Oh. Brazil, Colombia, frontera viva. Cai patana, pate picao, hamata pastilla pa. Jesus, it's filling up now. Look at this. Look who's turned up. The army have turned up. Hola, amigo. Look at them all. It's a sausage fest up here. It's going to be a crammed evening up here on the top deck. I'm guessing they're going to be setting up the hammocks right next to us. There's still plenty of room next to me. So there's definitely going to be someone here. Oh, yep, yeah, this guy right here, look. He's setting up right now. My neighbor. <laughs> Well, it's 7 p.m. here on the boat. We are due to leave at 7 p.m. But this is Peru. We could be leaving at 10 p.m. or 2 a.m. So I'll keep you up there along the way. But so far, so good. It's not too bad, actually. I'm hoping when we get going, yeah, it cools down. It's super hot on here. It's like 32 degrees, super humid. So I'm hoping the breeze kicks in soon here on the top deck. But anyway, I'll keep you posted. Oh, this is the life. If I turn over, I'm just gonna <laughs> It's be like you're in the same bed, same hammock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't disturb us. <laughs> We're having a bromance. <laughs> Bowl's got literally no room. Me and my friend yeah, I here. I move my things. I can't be <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not happy to. I'm coming closer. Like... No, no, don't come closer to me. Oh, but I can't even come closer. I'd have to undo the whole thing. Yeah, you have to undo it. Just make do with it. That's your partner for tonight. And enjoy it, alright? <laughs> 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 he's, laughing. he's laughing. I think he understands what you're saying. You speak English? English? No? I, however, have a bit of room. My neighbour is, um, yeah, spaced quite far away from me, so that's how much room I've got. So I'm enjoying it. Right, guys, the boat has officially left. I'm going to try to get my head down now. However, it's going to be hard. There's a lot of smells in here, safe to say. And I think it's going to be quite noisy. So I'm going to try my best to get my head down, but it's going to be tricky. So, um, yeah, see you in a few hours. I'll update you along the way. Fast asleep then, sleeping like a baby for a solid two and a half hours, uninterrupted. And then I got a tap on the shoulder by the guy, and he said, listen, you need to pay. So he's collected everyone's money. He's over there now collecting the locals' money. And that's it, We're back to sleep. So far, so good. Good morning from the hammock here on the cargo ship. I'll tell you what, slept all right. Had about five hours sleep. Yeah, count forward really, it was decent. Mr. Bold, however. <laughs> How did you sleep, mate? I didn't. <laughs> I haven't been sleep yet. <laughs> Safe to say the hammock life isn't for Mr. Bold. The Amazon life isn't for Mr. Bold. He ain't cow for this, I am. I'll tell you what, my uh, Go back to sleep for a bit, so wake me up in a few hours. I'm not letting you go out sleep. <laughs> no way. Well, I'm in need for some food. I missed breakfast, so um, I'm hoping there's something in the shop I can buy. Wow, look at this. This is the aftermath of the first night here on a cargo ship. 
Right, let's get to the kitchen. Hopefully, I can buy something. Oh. Hola. Yes. Uh, dos. Dos. Cake. Gracias. Wow, so I ordered two slices of this. Looks alright to be fair. Alright, two slices of cake for breakfast. I'll bring one to Mr. Bold. I'm dropping this bloody thing. ¿Qué es eso? Take a slice. Uh, do I want one? It's a bit stale. <laughs> Too stale. <laughs> How is it? For breakfast it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. This is it guys, going down the Amazon, slice of cake on our way to Colombia. Cheers. Como se dice buenos días en inglés? No español. Español habla? No, no, nada. <laughs> Gracias. That slice of cake has worked on my appetite, so I've come back to the kitchen. Apparently, they do chicken and rice here, so I'm gonna give it a go. Hopefully, my stomach can handle it. Benjamin? Ah, do you want me to order for you as well? Oh, ideally, yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. I've just brought you here. Uh, oh, gracias. 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 There, you go. gracias. there we go. Gracias. Lovely. Gracias. Well, there you go. You got some chicken, some vegetables, and some rice. Don't know how much this costs, but it looks alright. Oh god. Well, Ben, how is it? Ben is the guinea pig. It's alright. Well, I was enjoying my meal until I found out there's tripe inside yeah, it. Yeah, it is tripe. Look at this. Sheep's stomach. This right here is the lining of a cow. It's called tripe. And no human should eat this shit. I agree. We're finally stopping for the first time today in this rural town called something Israel. Yes, Israel. Look at it. Let's go have a little mince around. Hola. Well, I mean, what a place this is. Feels like I'm going back 300 years in time. Biblical times. This is the local supermarket. Look at this. Someone work here? Hola, como estas? You have uh, biscuits? Biscuits. Biscuits. Let's have a little look around. See what they have. Let me look around, it's okay. Gracias. Wow. Almost looks abandoned here. Got toothbrushes, shower gels, a mirror. Aha! Uh -huh. Shampoos. But I need some snacks. All I've had so far is that quarter of that meal and a slice of cake. Ah, uh, here we go. Biscuits. It's okay? It's okay. Um, but what do you have here? I take two of these. Uh, por favor. Okay, amigo. Gracias. Okay. Adios, amigo. Thank you. Gracias. All right, let's carry on. Got myself some snacks later. So I'm really starving. Let's walk around here. Wow, safe to say, not many foreigners have walked around here vlogging it before. I think me and Mr. Bold are the first people. Let's go further in. Amigo, hola! Who is this man? I think he's giving me something. Oh, it's watermelon. Hello. Como estas? Sandia. Gracias, amigo. Wow. Gracias. You're a good man. Gracias. Wow, what a friendly man. He gave me a watermelon. Oh, hmm. So these are the friendly people of Peru, even in these remote areas. Very welcoming people. 
Anyway, let's carry on walking around. Got my watermelon, got my biscuits. I like this place. Hola, Ringo. Hola. ¿Dónde, hermano? Uh, ¿Cómo estás? Está todo bien. Sí. Uh, Leticia. Ah. Yes. Leticia, ¿no eres? Sí. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, no español. English. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gracias. Adios. Wow, I've discovered another supermarket, but in order to get there, I've got to cross the river. I'm not even sure if it's open in there, but let's find out. Oh dear. Yes, it is open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not want to be falling in there. Parasitic penis worms are everywhere here. And we're in. Wow, here we go. Hola, como estas? Si? Wow, look at this place. All right, let's get some more snacks for the road. Here we go, yes, chocolate crisps, uh, cookies. Uh, oh no, uh, por favor. Si? Gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, adios. Hola. Amigo. No español. Ah, España. English. England. Si. Sí. Uh, Leticia. Leticia. Colombia. Muy bien. Sí. Bien. Adiós, amigo. Gracias. Oh. Wow, what a cool little place. Got me some biscuits, watermelon, and a view of the Amazon River in this cool little village called Something Israel. I'll show you in a minute what it's called. And this is the Amazon. Look at it. Awesome place. <laughs> They're like, who is this guy? Well, I think it's time to get back on the boat before it leaves without me. Don't want to be stuck here. Well, do I? Actually quite like it. Now, nah, let's get back on the boat. Come on. Vamos. Hola, amigo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Mr. Bold, I got you some watermelon. <laughs> I've had a nibble. <laughs> I'm going to show you the rest of the cargo ship. I'm going to show you ground floor where they keep all the cargo and the engines. It's very loud down here and very hot. But I'm going to show you. Wow, this is it. All sorts of stuff kept down here. I don't know what's down this end. More cargo. Bananas here. Vegetables. Hola. This is life on the cargo ship here in Peru. Love it. Oh, hey, Papa. Hey, bro. How are you doing? Manchester City. Yeah, primo. No, no, no. Manchester United. Let's get out of here. Hola, amigo. Hola. 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 Oh, back on top deck. Hopefully no one's nicked my bag. A lot of valuable things in there. But I trust the people of Peru. Oh shit, I thought it was gone then. Still there. Oh, we're back. Top deck. This is how you manoeuvre around here. You've got to keep ducking below everyone's hammocks. And there it is. Food. I think that's the lunch that's included with um, everyone on the boat. So uh, let's go back to the hammock and hopefully that's my meal. Let's go check it out. Yes it is, I can see him dishing the meals out. I think it is anyway. Oh, he's coming back. Here he comes, he's dishing out to all the army lot first. They got first pickings. Oh, he's coming over, here we go. What delights is this man going to bring us? We're about to find out. Looks like pasta. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Ooh. So anyway, this is what we've got. Pasta with nuts, rice, and I think that's a banana. Dried banana. Decent, I'll take it. So let me show you the town of Israel, which we're in right now. Alto Monte Israel right here in the Amazon in Peru. 
let me show you the journey so far. So we began obviously down here in Iquitos, which is the red one. And then we traveled through the night up here to Israel. And then our next stop is a big city called San Dablo. So I'm gonna get off at the next stop. And then it's through the night all the way up to the Colombian land border here, a place called Leticia. So that's gonna be our final stop. It's gonna be some adventure.